Hi, um, I'm just, I've been spending the last few <laughs> hours trying to set up um, Elgato Stream Deck and also an, uh, a CC controller um, with uh, Logic to control CC uh, information. And CC information is things like being able to change, uh, you know, using the fader port to change the dynamics and the expression. So for example, if I have my um, symphony orchestra, this fader is now controlling the expression or the dynamics in this on this this fader. Um, and I can assign diff. I wanted to be able to assign different controls to the to this fader as and when. Um, I also wanted to be able to uh, get the Elgato um, Stream Deck to be able to switch these switches here. So I could just by a press of a button, rather than trying to use key switches on the on the keyboard, actually use the Elgato Stream Deck to just literally flick through. So I can go, um, say, go from legato. <laughs> And then switching to the long. And then obviously to the... So I, st I started to do this and then what I thought I actually would do to... To help is to <laughs> actually show you how I did it because it drove... It spent, I took ages trying to get it to work in Logic. So I'll show you a couple of things that I did that may help. So first off, what I, I needed to do, um, for some reason, Logic wasn't seeing the Elgato Stream Deck or my um, little controller thing here. So what I, I ended up doing was going into um, the applications folder and going to utilities. Where are we? Utilities. And into the audio MIDI setup. So, um, by doing this, what you need to do is the I. Oh, the way I did it was I went to the IAC driver, and make this device. I had tick this checkbox to make this device online. Um, I then closed that, and then I added. So I went to plus and added a new, uh, a new device. So like this one here, so the new external device. I then put in its name, what it was called. So um, uh, <coughs> deck two in this case. I, I'm not going to add it. I'm going to actually uh, take this out because I don't want an extra one in there. Um, I then had to apply the changes. I'm not going to apply changes yet. Um, and I even changed the icon. But essentially what this does is it creates, um, let's see if we can, can I get rid of that? Um, delete. Delete. Okay, got rid of that. Um, essentially what I had to do was create these two um, virtual uh, devices in the, in the audio MIDI setup. So by doing that, I could then go into when we go into let's go into Logic. Um, let's move that out of the way. Uh, in the preferences, and we go to MIDI um, and go to the inputs. They then show up here. So I've got the Stream Deck, um, and then that two fader port thing is is there. So um, that's how I set it up. And, and this works basically the same principle as if you're adding other um, controllers or other MIDI controllers into your system. Part one. 